sank in Port Phillip Bay 140 years ago. The wreck of the city of Lauriston, Launceston rather, is one of the state's best preserved wrecks. Divers say it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The exact location of the Launceston has been a secret since it was found in 1981 and it's going to stay that way. But for the first time the public is going to get a chance to see a wreck that archaeologists have had to themselves for two decades. It is a really amazing site, it's just enormous and it just sort of lurks up out of the gloom, it's pretty cool. This is the most intact wreck that we have uh, in Victoria in fact, not just Port Phillip Bay. The steamship Launceston was built in 1863 to ferry wealthy colonists across Bass Strait. It was pretty deluxe. They, they were drinking champagne, they were drinking schnapps, they had nice fine wine glasses, they had a great big beautiful mahogany dining table. But the first Bass Strait ferry sank just two years after it was built, after colliding with the SS Panola. This is a model of the Launceston as it looks on the bottom of Port Phillip Bay at the moment. Here you can see where the Panola struck the ship, causing it to sink. Here's the engine and the galley, with some pots still sitting on the stove. All on board were rescued, and although most of the artefacts have been retrieved, divers like Jeff Sparks have been pushing to get access to the site for years. I've been diving the Port Phillip Bay region for nearly 40 years, and in that 40 years this would be the first time something like this has come up. So, yeah, it's pretty much a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is still just a trial, and souvenir hunting won't be tolerated. Divers' bags will be checked for artefacts and GPS equipment, and it may be their last chance to see the wreck like this. It is breaking apart, which is also why this is sort of a unique opportunity in time um, for divers to be able to access the site before it does start to break up and we can't allow access. The first dives will begin in April. Ben Knight, ABC News, Melbourne.